That is the push-ups. Vai, filha. Um, dois, três, quatro. Our morning routine includes exercising whenever possible. Some people pray every morning, drink coffee, read the paper. Us, we do push-ups and lunges. Good evening. In just the past minute, almost six million... It's winter 2021 and Sydney is at the beginning of a COVID lockdown that will last for more than six months. We escaped by the skin of our teeth, sailing north for Port Stephens successfully, despite an engine full of seawater and two seasick sailors. Well, it has taken a week. A lot of engine repairs, a lot of vomiting from Mari, a lot of sick Kaya. But finally now, I think we're good. The engines are running perfectly. The boat is tip-top. We're preparing to leave again, and just when we got everything right, we were blessed. Look at this. What a sunset. Somebody decided to wake up at four, quarter past four in the morning and not sleep anymore. Yeah, who was that? On the morning that we gotta go. You? Is that you? Yeah, what's your excuse? Too excited. You're too excited. So, Denim and I have been up since quarter past four with a crying baby. And at 5.30 we gave up and getting ready to go. It's 12 degrees inside uh, the cabin here. And outside it's... Hmm, seven, I think. Five degrees according to my watch. Murray's watch says it's five degrees outside. It's a beautiful morning, but woo, is that frosty. So the noise you can hear is the generator. And the generator means... Good morning, pumpkin. Da, da, da. The generator means... Whoa, whoa, luxury. Mmm, feel the warmth of the heater. It's a crisp morning as we leave Port Stephens. But it's a beautiful one, and once again we join humpback whales for their migration north. Seventy odd nautical miles north to Coffs Harbour, and in these light conditions, we are expecting an overnight sail, arriving in the early hours. Empty stomach is not good for sailing. That's my excuse. Yep, a full belly and eyes on the horizon. That's my secret to ocean sailing. Seeing dolphins off the front of your boat never gets old. Wow. Hey, pumpkin dolphins! Hey, like us, they are social animals and you can hear them constantly communicating with each other. Oh, yeah! We often see entire families, just like us, traveling the ocean, although they can reach speeds of 20 knots. 
So on a day like today, they must be wondering what this big, slow, silent, rude creature is bloody well doing out here. Whole family. Uh, it's a little baby one. Oh wow, look at these guys. I can almost touch them. Look at this one. Look at this little one. One difference between sailing with just the two of us and now with Kaya is like the boat, she requires constant care and attention. It's incredible to watch our little sailor grow. But gone are the days of long book reads, hammocks and daytime naps. Someone did so well. Dude, did amazing. Yay! Oh, the little yeah. sailor is up. 6 p.m. to 5.30 a.m. Sailing the whole time. On a noisy boat. Sailing, engine on, engine off. And this baby was asleep. Very happy. Could have been so worse, and we are so proud of her. We're very proud of her. Yay! We're very proud of this little sailor. Didn't you, darling? Oi, meow, shoo, shoo. Pretty hungry now, though. <laughs> hey, you ready for some milk? Oi, music, your mama. Coffs Harbour, one of the key stopover points for any trip along the east coast. A place that can also be reached by plane, train and bus. The harbour is entirely man-made and quite a sight. A decent anchorage except in large easterly swell and a marina with diesel pumps and a chandlery ready to take your cash. Always. It's also an international marina which means you can enter and clear customs right here. And it's the home of the big banana. Oh, you should have said that earlier. Yeah, yeah, sorry, that's my mistake. Hey, it's the home of the big banana. One thing we noticed since living on a boat is we watch every sunset. Previously, we only did that on camping trips or the odd romantic night out. Ooh. Have you watched one this week? If you haven't, Especially give it a try. Sunset. Honestly, it's good for the soul. Quite beautiful. 